Hi everyone, Mike here with Merch Buzz. There have been a lot of changes last uh, couple of weeks when it comes to Merch by Amazon, uh, Etsy, and Printful. A couple of things that uh, have happened are all the new product introductions and they're actually very exciting. I've, uh, I've noticed that Printful and Amazon are making a lot of changes during what would be considered a slow time. Uh, I don't know about you, but my sales have uh, dropped a little bit, which was exactly as expected because the same thing happened over the last couple of years. Summertime usually slows down, but uh, starting in about July and definitely August, you'll, uh, you'll see a big, huge difference and sales will uh, pick up that's you know just before we start getting into q4 which is probably the most exciting time i've talked to a bunch of people that actually make 50 percent of their income in the last four months of the year so if you're if you're new to the business of print on demand or maybe you just opened up your etsy store maybe you just got approved for merch by Amazon and you're kind of uh, asking yourself you know what's going on sales have kind of slowed down that's completely fine it's it's as expected you have nothing to worry about a lot of other things that kind of a uh, contribute to the drop in sales when it comes to merch by Amazon specifically is uh, is just Amazon's maintenance and, and system uh, changes integrations policy updates anytime they actually uh, do anything behind the scenes you'll notice that your sales will slow down a little bit for example if i have an average uh, day of you know 10 to 15 sales on merch if they're doing some kind of maintenance those uh, sales will drop to to maybe five uh, but for a couple hours you'll see that there's absolutely no activity and then you know most likely your listings are not showing to customers and, and they're not actually available. If you have a regular day where you're selling maybe 20 or 30, you might actually see a drop uh, and, and your total sales will be about you know 7 to 10. This is not always the case because if you have uh, certain best sellers or if, if you have a product that's been tagged by Amazon as as you know Amazon's choice then those listings will always stand out Amazon will never uh, hide those and uh, you probably won't run into any of those problems what we're actually talking about that I'm not sure if you've ever had a, a merch by Amazon sorry not merch by Amazon but Amazon in general uh, a tag or, or where Amazon has flagged one of your products as their choice they will do this with any type of product. If you Google, if you if you search for, not Google, if you search for on Amazon for any specific product, this could be even socks, it doesn't even matter. There is usually uh, a tag for Amazon's bestseller or Amazon's choice. Now what Amazon will do is they will flag merch by Amazon products as their you know as their choice which uh, makes it very interesting and very exciting because your sales if this happens to you to you will will skyrocket i had a few products that have been uh, flagged one in specific went from this was in the early days it started off with you know 10 to 20 sales a month then it went up to maybe about 70 and that's where Amazon identified it as as uh, as their choice for a very specific uh, search term when it comes to phone accessories it was a pop socket and uh, my sales went up to over 200 sales a month and this was uh, very exciting because it was around Q4 anyway so I think there was a month where I had uh, over 300 sales of that just one product, which is incredible. Now, 
talking about the new products that um, Amazon has introduced through merch. Uh, their tank tops, V-necks, and I can't remember a couple other types of uh, shirts. So if my memory serves me right, I think we're at about nine products, nine types of shirts through merch and pop sockets. This is exciting. This is, I remember, I think about a year ago, we were still at, I think long, so maybe about five products in total and now they've expanded that to you know to offer to your customers around 10 which is super exciting if you're at a if you're at a lower tier you simply have more options but if you're at a higher tier and you have uh, some pretty amazing designs then you're able to put those designs on uh, on all the products that are available and uh, you know you can have a number of uh, best sellers or at least high sellers. I think the most exciting thing, the most exciting product is uh, are still tank tops. T standard T-shirts are definitely the number one seller. A bunch of premiums are selling, but I can see over the next couple of months, uh, tank tops definitely taking over. I've already sold a, a number of tank tops and V-necks. I, I don't have a extremely high number of those two types of products live at the moment, uh, but I am listing, I would say that with any or most of my new designs that I'm uh, listing right now, I'm also putting on all those types of shirts. So it's, uh, I mean, they're out there. And with the new beta, listing uh, integration or whatever you want to call it platform it's uh it's really easy now to list you know a hundred or two hundred products a day depending on the the amount of time that you have in the past and i still actually use certain extensions like merch buddy that give you the ability to copy and paste all the titles uh product description and uh your key points but uh but actually being able to you know do one listing and with uh one push of a button you are able to i guess uh generate eight new products or eight new listings uh it's very very efficient and uh, convenient so i think that you know what amazon did uh, was actually very smart and i always say uh, you know trust in amazon because uh i don't think that they're going to be making a lot of mistakes especially now there were a few hiccups when they introduced merch by amazon and there were a lot of people you know just uh, listing a, a ton of products and there were a lot of copycats and that's still happening i mean there's so many versions of the same design but uh the fact that they're you know being picky with the types of products that they're uh selling and they're also being picky with uh the markets that they're introducing merch to so for example germany and uk uh, is uh, is incredible and I say you know if anyone did the research it's uh, it's Amazon because uh, you know they they still haven't gone completely international uh, they don't offer any of those uh, products to customers in Canada or anywhere else in the world where you would think that there are a lot more customers so they've uh, they've really picked uh, you know Germany and uh, the UK for whatever reason but again I uh, I don't trust that I don't I don't believe that Amazon's going to be making a lot of mistakes. Like I said, the other thing that's uh, actually uh, let's say super super exciting, and uh, for some people, is the new product introduction through Printful, which is uh, jewelry. So now they're actually offering so you can have a 
an Etsy store, you can push your products to eBay or Amazon and sell bracelets and necklaces. So they're selling uh, silver and gold uh, jewelry. I'm not sure if it's uh, gold plated. I know that they did say that uh, the silver bracelet is actually silver, which is amazing. And they give you the option to actually engrave this for your customers. So if you do have a an Etsy store and you're giving your customers uh, the ability to uh, you know indicate what kind of text they would want engraved on that piece of jewelry uh, Printful will actually do that for you so so to me that's just another uh, you know reason to stay in this business because up until a few days ago through Printful, which I consider the most powerful after merch by Amazon, the most powerful print-on-demand platform. And it's a it's a di different type of print-on-demand because uh, Printful is for people that are actually running their businesses. This is, uh, this is for somebody that's in direct contact with uh, their customers. You have uh, so many choices of uh, different platforms to push your products to. Uh, like I indicated, for example, not only your Shopify store, but uh, eBay, Amazon, Etsy, a bunch of other platforms. Uh, so it's a little different from Merge by Amazon, where you have a huge, huge uh, number of customers that are that are shopping constantly through Amazon. You have Amazon's platform. Uh, but you don't have control over any of that information. You actually don't even know who your customers are, where they are, any of that kind of stuff. You can, for example, narrow it down by state to do some targeted advertising. You don't actually know uh, which keywords the, the customers are using to buy your products. With Printful, you can do direct sales. You can do sales uh, in person. Uh, you can have a local, you know, a uh, small little business where you're targeting certain sports teams or whatever, right? Businesses, uh, you can have multiple platforms, control the price, not that you can't on merch, but I mean, you can control it a little more. You can do, like I said, different types of targeting analysis. So all of that is, uh, is actually super exciting now. Uh, like I said, before they introduced Printful, introduced jewelry they had already over 160 products available which is incredible to have 160 products available uh is is just something that people uh don't realize how powerful it is uh for so many reasons the other very very exciting thing uh is somewhat new i i think it's a couple of weeks could be maybe a month or two is the printful ebay integration now for anyone that was actually selling on ebay and uh got into you know selling i'll, I'll step back a little bit so what had happened is once the the whole print on demand industry kind of exploded and this was through you know a teespring red bubble society six then came in merch by amazon and basically merch by amazon took over everybody was just uh going nuts about merch but what people didn't want to do is waste the designs that they had so basically if you you know, if you got tiered up to, you know, 500, 1,000, 2,000 on Merch by Amazon, that meant that you probably had as many designs. Now, what people didn't want to do is have a 1,000 designs and only have them on one platform. So people were putting up those same designs on uh, Teespring, Redbubble, like all those different websites that I mentioned. So basically what happened is people that were kind of... Uh, a little savvy more savvy or knowledgeable than others and had their shopify stores 
what they were able to do is they were able to list those products through Printful. So not only would they have them on Etsy or and Amazon and not merged by Amazon, this would be through FBA because you're able to integrate Printful and Amazon directly. But what they were able to do, and of course I was doing this, is listing your Printful products to your Shopify store, which would be your online store. This would be your main store. Hopefully you would have a domain name and not a Shopify domain. But then you couldn't at the time push and list those products directly to eBay. So if you had a, and a lot of people that are kind of, that have been in this industry for a while, everybody started out on eBay. A, eBay was, was the powerhouse, still is. Uh, I think a lot of people underestimate the power of eBay at the moment, uh, but it doesn't matter. So what, what was uh, happening is instead of actually being able to list those products directly on eBay, you would have to push them to Shopify. And then through Shopify, you were able to list, you know, hundreds of products uh, to eBay immediately. So the fulfillment would actually still be linked to Printful, but there would be just a little more work to actually uh, have them live and listed on, on eBay. Now what's happened the last couple of weeks is uh, Printful has given their users the ability to list directly to eBay. Now, you can't do this, uh, I guess, maybe right now in large numbers, but what you're able to do is you're able to directly list to eBay. So you still have to do it individually. And if you have a, a professional store and, and you're able to list a thousand or a couple thousand products, uh, you know that it's a, it's time consuming, which is the case, but, uh, but the integration on its own is just amazing because anybody, like I said, that's actually worked with eBay for a number of years, you now have thousands of uh, uh, customer reviews. You have a uh, pretty huge and reputable online stores and you're able to sell your products on that platform, which is uh, again, amazing because if you're gonna, if you're thinking about e-commerce platforms, uh, it, it comes down to two. It comes down to Amazon and eBay. And uh, now you have uh, the ability to put all of those products uh, and have them selling on your store that you've hopefully had for years, which is just great. Anyway, sales are great. Summer is here. Uh, I don't think that anything is actually going to be slowing down uh, my expectations for for this year and next year, just, uh, I can't even tell you how excited I am about everything that's happening. A uh, merch by Amazon is, uh, I know for a fact, will keep growing. Uh, eBay right now is, uh, is, is just getting to that point where you can actually, you know, if you were drop shipping before, now you can actually sell your own products and it's, you know, it, it's going in that direction of, uh, uh, brand growth, branding in general, you know, brand recognition, because if you have a same brand on all these platforms, I mean, people will, uh, start to get to know you. Uh, Printful is doing a lot of exciting things. Like I said, uh, you know, in addition to the already 160 products that they have, uh, now they're going into, into jewelry, which is something that no other platform has actually done. Uh, so it's a pretty exciting time when it comes to merch, when it comes to print on demand. And I, I hope that all you guys are having fun and, uh, and actually are as excited as I am when it comes to all of this. If you have any questions, if you have any advice or, or just comments in general, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you like this, share this with your friends, uh, with your family. And as always, thank you for listening.